Khan is just so good, and he really has been what they needed uh, on that power play, Johnny. He is, and we know what he does, though, Jackie, right? We know where he stands. We know how he likes yep. to shoot it. So he does what he does. The job then becomes his teammates. How do they facilitate getting him the puck in the spots where he wants it, where he can do what he does? So there he is over there, and you see all the attention being paid. Three guys fronting him, McGinn trying to take pucks away, and they're doing everything in their power to not let that team be available. So what does Columbus do? They pop it into the middle. They draw McGinn over, and now it's a clean pass, clean look, no chance for Dougie Hamilton to block it. That's really intuitive puck movement with the goal of getting it to lining. You use the middle part. Same thing here late in the game. Lining is over there. Sveshnikov's fronting him. Well, there's no point in shooting it now. You're going to bury the shin pads. He's fronting him. He's fronting him. How do I get Sveshnikov out of that lane? Well, we draw one, draw another, and all of a sudden, we just slide it over to Lining. He's capable of shooting. You get a great look at it here. Now Sveshnikov releases, and then Pesci's not in a good spot to block that shot. It's on the players that are on the ice with Patrick Line to get the puck so he can do his thing, EJ. And then once he does his thing, EJ, we, we both marvel at how good and how smooth his shot looks. Yeah, the mechanics of his shot are terrific. And for a big man, it's, you know, it's one thing for, for a smaller guy to, to maybe uh, be able to get things off and with all the moving parts. But for Patrick Lina, it is smooth. And, you know, you were pointing out the positioning of his hands when he lets that mm -hmm. shot go, right? Yeah, so most, like when I would shoot, my top hand, my left hand would be tucked in kind of by my chest. When Line shoots it, watch where his left hand at the release point. It is extended out away from his chest. So if you think about it, you can pull back on your top hand while pushing down on your bottom hand and give a larger area for that stick to bow and flex and then release. It's like a double pull versus when it's hinged on your chest, you just have the one tension of your bottom hand pushing the ice. But he pushes and pulls at the same time, it's, it's taught now. That's how elite level shooters are taught to shoot with their top hand away from their body. I did not. It was tucked in my armpit so hard I couldn't get anything on it, as we know. But it's one of the th ways that guys do shoot now intentionally, and he does it as well as anyone. But I, I once tweeted out a picture where he's taking a one-timer as a right, right shot shooter and me taking a slapper as a right shot shooter. And in my stick had a curve like this. His stick was like this. Yeah. And, I mean, you see why they can shoot it way harder with the mechanics that he used, the biomechanics of it, yeah. and understanding his shaft and his blade and how to release it. That's why he shoots at 105 miles an hour past goalies all the time. It's amazing what he does. With that top hand, keep it away from your body if yeah. you can. A little tip.